Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be unboxing, testing and a review video for the MI Motion Activated Nightlight 2. Now this is a battery operated nightlight and uh, it's kind of portable uh, and uh, it has a lot of features. I've been testing it for the past two weeks. So let's go ahead, see how it actually looks like uh, and then we will talk more about it. So let's go. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the night lamp itself. So let's take a look at the box first. So it says uh, human motion detection, two brightness level, magnetic mount. Uh, nothing much. It says $699 as MRP, but you can get it for $599 from the MI store. Let's open this up. Now I've used it for two weeks. So this is not sealed. <laughs> I've actually opened it before. So this is the night lamp itself. And you get a manual so it's a small manual that's it it just shows you uh how you can actually connect it how to put the battery and how to switch it on how which one uh, i mean how to change the brightness and everything on the other side it shows you how to actually mount it and how is it like uh, it is actually how is it actually going to work uh, so the detection area how to set that up so all of that is over here so we'll be testing it in real time so i'll be showing you the testing videos so this is the night lamp. Now it's actually good. I've, uh, I didn't even have to remove this sticker. Even with the sticker on, this worked. So let's remove this now. Even I'll be able to see this for the first time. Okay, that's pretty nice. Now one thing I've noticed, there are many minute scratches on this. That has happened, but still uh, it's not that visible. Even though this is white, it's not gone dirty as yet. Two weeks I've been using this. Uh, this part did get dirty because of the surface that I put it in the kitchen also. So a little bit of oil and stuff have has come up. Uh, now I did not take out the sticker. I did not stick it like that. I actually put it onto the fridge, all the metal areas, and I kept it uh, like this on uh, places um, like on the desk and uh, nearby places, and it uh, got dirty because of that. But this is actually, even though this is white, it's actually pretty good it does not get dirty that easily now let's open this up let's take a look at the cover itself so the back cover has a metal part here this is what the magnet actually sticks to now even though the metal is inside the magnet is very very strong so you can actually put it in any angle and it will actually stay there so i really like the quality of this and the build quality of the plastic is excellent now let's take a look at the real thing so you have three battery ports so you can put three AA batteries here okay and this is the brightness level so we'll be seeing that right now uh, now this is completely made of the same plastic uh, and this one has the translucent plastic, uh, which has the LED inside. So let's put a, put some batteries in them. Okay, so as soon as you put in a battery, this lights up. Let me close this. Okay, that's it. Now this is on, okay, let me check, let's wait for it to go, it takes 15 seconds, okay, let me just show you, so this is on low, okay, okay, this is low, this is bright, so there are two settings, so you can't make, make out how this is going to be right now, I'll be doing the test video and show you how this actually looks like in darkness right now because of the studio light you'll not be able to see the low setting that much the bright setting you'll still be able to see so that's how bright it gets so excellent product i really liked it let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the test videos now and uh, then we'll be talking about it um, in detail so let's go 
Okay, so you've seen how it actually looks like. Now let's talk about some key information and specification about uh, for this device. So this is a photosensitive device. That means it will not get activated when there's light around. Uh, and it has a 120 degree range. So that's nice. Uh, it's got a five meter front range. So if you, uh, if you actually uh, keep it straight, it's got a five meter range and sides have two meter range. Now, uh, this has a warm yellow light, uh, so it has a blue light filter, so you will not get harsh blue light. So in case you get up in the night and you're walking down the corridor or you're going to the bathroom or something, you will not be uh, greeted with harsh blue light and you will not wake up. So that's good. Uh, it uses three AA batteries, so it's cheaper than AAA batteries and uh, this can go on for almost six months. Uh, you can paste it onto any uh, any surface like wood uh, wall or whatever or you can even magnetically connect it uh, onto any metal surface and the metal surface is actually uh, i mean the magnet is actually pretty good uh, now this is only for indoor use this is not waterproof and secondly anyone can just take it and run away so do not use it in uh, do not use it outside the house now let's talk about the specification so this has a sensor range of five meters from the front two meters from the side that I already told you. Uh, brightness goes from 25 uh, luminous to four luminous. So the low setting is four luminous. The high setting is 25 luminous. That's actually pretty bright. Uh, life expectancy around uh, 25,000 hours. Uh, wattage, this is 0 0.5 watt uh, device. So it, the battery consumption is very, very less. Warranty, you get a, a six months warranty operating temperature now you can use this from minus 10 degrees to 40 degrees celsius so that's nice so that's it for the specification now let's do uh, some testing let's uh, i actually used it in different scenarios and i tried to shoot some night uh, videos how it actually works now it's actually difficult to get anything in the video camera uh, pictures are easy but videos are difficult to uh, i mean to get night videos but i tried so go ahead and uh, see some scenarios i've uh, uh, done the maximum light the the maximum brightness the low brightness uh, test i've done the motion test so you can go ahead and see that first and then we'll be talking further so let's see Okay, so what are my thoughts? What's the verdict? Uh, let's talk about who is this for or what's the use? Let's start with uh, what's the use for this? So uh, this is not just a night light and it's not going to replace your night light. So uh, if you have a habit of sleeping with some uh, light on, like some night light on, this is not going to be for you. This is not for that. This is a motion activated one. So when uh, this is when uh, you get up in the night and you have to go to the loo or something or uh, in the night you want to go from uh, you want to drink water and you want to go from your room to your kitchen or something. So this is for that scenario. This is mainly meant for that scenario. So you put it in a specific place where you know that there is no light and you might need light over there you just put it there so as soon as it detects someone is coming it will switch on and then it's so uh, yellow warm light so it's not going to wake you up uh, it's going to be soft on your eyes and then you can simply go take the water whatever drink and then go back and it will uh, switch on and switch off automatically in 15 seconds so this is for that scenario but 
there are other things that you can do with this so you can actually put it in your closet so if you have like a big closet or something normally closets are not lit up so there's no light in the closet uh, and sometimes uh, it's difficult to find the right uh, cloth or um, thing to uh, wear or uh, it's not well lit maybe it's in a corner where you can't see it properly so you can put this there so as soon as you open your closet this will light up and then you can see everything properly so that is another thing which i liked i actually tested it and it works very well it's just that it's a uh, yellow light so you will uh, it, a white light is better for those scenarios but it still works so the third thing that i liked about this is you can actually put it in places in the house where you do not have a switch point or a light uh, you can just place it over there uh, and then when you walk by from those areas, then it will light up. So this is going to come in handy for those uh, those things also. Like this is uh, going to be handy for people in Kerala, like my house in Kerala and uh, my uh, cousins and stuff. Uh, they have uh, even inside the house, like maybe the stairway, uh, the switch is at the bottom. So from the top, I cannot switch it on. So I can just put it next to the stairway so when i go the stairway lights up and then i walk down so those kind of scenarios so now you at least know what all uh, uh, things it can do now according to your scenario you can see so that's what this is going to be useful for now what are my thoughts what did i think about this build quality excellent i actually dropped it twice uh, and it's still working i am going to do a disassembly and show you the leds inside and the entire mechanism uh, in the next video and it actually works pretty well uh, at first i was not very sure that the sensor is actually working properly because the sensor only works when there is no light and i was trying it in scenarios where there was a little bit of light coming from uh, different places so that's when i realized there are two things you have, you have to remember one uh, you have to face the sensor exactly where you know that you will be coming from. So uh, the 5 meter range is straight. Uh, the uh, 2 meter range is sideways. So most of the time what's happening is you are maybe keeping it upwards and it's actually just getting your 2 meter range. The 5 meter range is going up or maybe the 5 meter range is going down and you're only using the 2 meter range. So that was happening with me. Once I actually figured it out and actually kept the 5 meter range well, it worked perfect. No issues. Uh, one more thing I liked about this is you can actually put it in your bathroom and uh, you walk into your bathroom, it'll light up and if it sees that there is a human there, it will not go off after 15 seconds, it'll continue uh, lighting up. So, and then when you go out, it'll automatically switch off. So that's something I like, just don't keep it next to the shower because this is not waterproof. So that's also another scenario. So I really liked that uh, you, you don't have to be limited to one thing. It can be put anywhere in the house, uh, whether it's your bathroom, whether it's your corridor, whether it's your just your desk, maybe anywhere. Uh, it, it's actually very handy. Now, this is going to be useful for uh, people who have children or elderly uh, people in the house who uh, you don't want them to trip and fall or something. So this is going to be uh, that's the main purpose for this one. So all in all, excellent device. Uh, I would recommend this and in case you have any doubts any further questions uh, you can always comment my information is uh, in the description and at the end of the video you can uh, choose any of those uh, messengers and then contact me so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video bye bye